AeroSensor is a groundbreaking product which is going to take the cycling world by storm. It allows anybody to improve their aerodynamic performance on the bike to get free speed. For no more power, no more effort, they can go faster. You don't have to have a coach, you don't have to have a team around you. Anyone can set up the gadget on their bike and they can improve their aerodynamic efficiency. It's democratising cycling. Okay, Charlie, we're going to get you set up with AeroSensor and do some real-world aero testing on the track here in Derby. I'm going to let you put it on to show how easy it is. Yep. Um, so if you want to pop that on, we've got the mount already on your handlebars. Yeah, sure. So it just slots in and then a single bolt to get it into place. Now, you want to make sure it's completely level. Yeah, so we'll just get a reference point there. So I'll keep the bike straight up right for you. That looks good. So this is the aero sensor part. This is what will give you your CDA, your drag coefficient. And unlike being in a wind tunnel, you can actually use this out on the road, on the track, wherever, and you get that real world uh, drag coefficient number, which is what you're looking for. This is aero body, so you want to pop that on, yep. on the mount here, facing, yep. that's the right way. This one, right, so you switch it on, you push that button there till it flashes. And then the same on the side of the aero sensor. Yep. That's it. Right, so you're going to sync these two through your Garmin app. So we're going to go onto, onto your Garmin here. Uh, go home. Here we go. Onto IQ. Yeah. Aero sensor ACS, you click on there. And then because we're in the velodrome, velodrome tracks, you press that. Onto the menu. Uh, connections. Aero sensor. It's already picked it up, that's great. So that's synced nicely, aero body. The same, that's on there, easy. And then you want to get your power meter working. Give it a quick, wake that up a little bit. And yeah, that's it on now. Yeah. Great, you're all set to go. Nice. How useful do you think it'll be to have something that will remind you to stay, or first of all, you yeah. find the optimal position, and then you're find, you're mm. a gadget that will keep you in that position and remind you not to start shuffling forward in the saddle or lifting your chin up or, or changing your posture. 100%, yeah, I mean, a lot of efforts these days, you can, uh, you can set yourself up really aerodynamic for a short period of time, but then you don't know over periods of time what happens to you, so um, using this, it'll guarantee that we can find out what it is that's causing our CDA to change in a, in a ride, and you know, measuring these sort of things is it's always a bonus. For me, as a, as a former rider, I guess the thing that really blows my mind is that you don't need to have a team, a coach, you don't need to have you know, a whole host of people to support you. You can do this on your own. You can do yeah. your own aero testing out in the road yeah, and, and it's kind of democratising elite cycling. It is, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's made things a lot more easier for, for me, for example, if I want to go out aero testing, um, yeah, I could go out on the road, I could test my TT bike, I could find an outdoor track. Super, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a bit of a game changer, really. So Charlie, only half an hour of actual data collection on the track, mm. some really interesting results. I know, yeah, I was quite surprised actually. Um, I've actually quite learned quite a lot there with the, with the old results. So um, yeah, it's definitely something that I'll take on board. Uh, so what, what did you find from the three helmets? What were the main areas that you Yeah, you so um, essentially I found that some helmets are really inconsistent. So, you know, head, head position dependent can be really good, but also really bad. From that data there, just from that half hour session, essentially you could find that one helmet is going to suit you better for the individual pursuit for a short effort. Mm -hmm. You might go for an hour record and choose another helmet which yeah. is more consistent. Yeah. All kinds of things which you might not consider before. No, exactly. And um, the aero body as well, that's really useful because I can match up now my head position data to see where was the um, inconsistent helmet um, to where it's really quick to where it's not quick and you know maybe you can get something from that. 
overall, how easy was it to set it up and, and to use it? Yeah, I mean, once we all set up, we were, we were you know, we were rattling through the tests. Um, and, you know, the, the user interface is, once you've got that, the hang of that, you know, you're, you're laughing. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using it quite a lot in the future, so. Great stuff.